this video is going to show you how to use fraction manipulatives to take an improper fraction and change it to a mixed number. Let's look at a few examples before I show you how to do number one. So let's take a look at 13 fifths. I have a huge pile of fifths off to the side. I'm going to count out 13 of those pieces. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths, nine fifths, ten fifths, eleven fifths, twelve fifths, thirteen fifths. Now I just need to arrange them so that I can easily see how many holes I have. I know that because five is my denominator, that it will take five pieces to make a hole. So I'll go ahead and arrange those really quick. So I can see that I've got one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, that's a hole. I have another hole and then I have three pieces left over. I can double check by putting down a hole and I can easily see I have two holes and three fifths. So that is my improper fraction changed to a mixed number. It's not that I really changed the amount, it's the same amount, I'm just changing the name. So I'm converting it from an improper fraction name to a mixed number name. But they're both the same amount. 13 fifths is the same amount as two and three fifths. For the next example, we have 21 eighths. So I need 21 pieces. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths, 9 eighths, 10 eighths, 11 eighths, 12 eighths, 13 eighths, 14 eighths, 15 eighths, 16 eighths, 17 eighths, 18 eighths, 19 eighths, 20 eighths, 21 eighths. That's a lot of eighth pieces. Now I just need to decide how many holes do I have and how many leftover pieces. I know that it takes eight pieces to make a hole, so I'll go ahead and arrange those. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. You can check with my holes if you like to do that. Then it's really easy to see that you have two holes. And then we have one, two, three, four, five pieces. So the mixed number name is two and five eighths. 21 eighths equals two and five eighths. My next improper fraction is 19 sixths. Try to think ahead and see if you can predict or guess or figure out how many holes there are, and then you can check your work with the manipulatives. When we think about it that way, we really rely on our denominator. We know that six sixths will equal whole. So as I'm counting out the 19 pieces, 
I know I'm going to have at least a couple of holes. If you know your six times tables, then you can start thinking, hmm, six times one is six, six sixths equals a hole. I know that six times two is 12. So if I have 12 pieces, that would be enough for two holes. Start thinking about how many holes you can make with 19 pieces. So I'll go ahead and start counting that out. So we have one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in the holes as we go. And then we have seven sixths, eight sixths, nine sixths, 10 sixths, 11 sixths, and 12 sixths. And we've got to go to 19. So here's 13 sixths, 14 sixths, 15 sixths, 16 sixths, 17 sixths, 18 sixths. That's another hole. And then we have our last piece, 19 sixths. So we can easily see that 19 sixths is equal to three and one sixth. And pause for just a minute and think about if that answer makes sense. I'm not surprised that I was able to get three holes because three times six is 18. So there were six pieces, and then there were six more pieces, and six more pieces. So 18 of those pieces made up three holes. If we were to skip count, we would say six, 12, 18. So we can start using our multiplication and start figuring out how many holes we have. So six sixths plus another six sixths that's 12 sixths plus another six sixths, that's 18 sixths. That was enough for three holes and then we had one piece left over. When you work on this packet, you'll do the same thing. Look at your denominator and that's how you know what pieces you're working with. So if the denominator is a three, we need to make sure we're working with thirds. Go ahead and count out five of those pieces We know that it takes three pieces to make the hole. So we have one hole and then we have two thirds and that's what you can write for your answer is one and two thirds. Have fun with those fraction manipulatives and you can check your work when you're finished.